pursue him sacrificially. Matthew chapter 14 verses 22 and 23. Immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when evening came, he was alone there. To know God intimately, we need to pursue him sacrificially. We see this great example here in the life of Jesus. He'd just done an amazing miracle, fed over 5,000 people, multiplied bread and fish, and just an amazing thing. You know, Jesus could have decided just to bask in the glory of that moment and just enjoy the fact that, wow, you know, several thousand people have been fed and all of that wonderful things had taken place. But he didn't do that. What was Jesus' action just after such a great, amazing miracle? The Bible says that he sent his own disciples away from him he sent the multitudes away and he withdrew into a place where he could be alone with the Father and he took time to pray. You see, that was a certain degree of sacrifice on the part of Jesus. He was very intentional about it, but he also sacrificed. He, he, he sent people away and he said, look, I need to carve out this time to be alone with the Father so that I can seek the Father, I can spend time with the Father. And there is a certain degree of sacrifice that you and I need to be willing to make in order to pursue Him so that we can know Him intimately. It may be the time that you, you know, could be spending with friends or with people or with the crowds or with, you know, all the those who just, just want to hang out with and whatever you want to do. But you say, look, I need to carve out this time. I need to get alone to be with God because I want to pursue God so that I can know Him intimately. And so you need to be just intentional. We need to be intentional about it. It's not wrong to be with people. if There's a time and a place for it. But we have something that we're going after, which is to know Him intimately. And in order to do that, sacrifice is involved. You may sacrifice uh, some of your time in recreation. You may sacrifice some of your time that you would be spending in other things, just so that you can be alone with the Father, so that you can seek Him. Uh, spend time maybe in His Word, maybe in prayer, maybe in worship, uh, however you want to pursue that. But you have sacrificially carved out time so that you can pursue God, and the end result is you will know Him intimately. And like we said at the beginning of this week, that out of that place of knowing Him, there comes strength and there comes fruitfulness. You're not afraid to be alone with Him in secret because you know that the Father who sees you in secret will reward you openly. The things that will happen in public will come out of that time that you spent in secret with the Father. And sometimes to get into that closet and to close that door and to be alone with the Father in secret will cost you something. It will require a certain amount of sacrifice. But you and I are willing to do it because we understand the value of pursuing God so that we can know Him intimately. He becomes the source of our strength and fruitfulness. So let's be willing to pursue Him sacrificially. And there is no sacrifice that is greater than the reward that comes out of seeking Him and pursuing Him. Let's pray. Father, we thank You. And you enable us to pursue you sacrificially, like Jesus. And you give us the strength, Lord, to carve out the time to be in that secret place so that we could know you intimately. Help each of us to do that, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.